Why do I feel responsible that we should be serving others on a more global scale? Um, I, I think of uh, part of Martin Luther King's idea of we are all brothers and sisters. We are in this together and we need to be responsible for our brothers and sisters who are next door and who are in the whole world because of the, the connectedness. And if we're not responsible, then, well, to me, the whole ship's gonna go down, but it's gonna go down in pieces. Um, and, and that's why if, if each of us could stand up and do a little bit more, um, some people are only gonna do a little bit more in their community. Others will be going to other countries and, and, and reaching out. The areas that where I have dedicated my energies, especially the last 10 years, is with the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Nationally, our society is in the process of what they call revitalization, of renewal, of changing to be better servants. And so I was part of that. And, and so uh, I was chosen then to, to lead the county in Fond du Lac County first and now here in Racine County. I'm currently the president also for the county. But the beauty of our society, and it, it's just one of many organizations that serve the poor, but the beauty of, of, of our particular organization is at the invitation of the poor, we, two of us members, or it doesn't have to be both members, one could be another person from the community with one of our members, goes into the homes of the poor at their invitation, primarily when they have financial needs. Serving others, has always been a part of me, however I could do it. But since we moved back to Racine and we began the St. Vincent de Paul Society Conference in our parish, I've become much more aware of how I can serve in the community. And that's been on the, the visits that we do with St. Vincent de Paul Society, going into the homes of people, observing their situations, listening to their struggles, helping with the little financial that sometimes helps them just to get out of where they're at at the moment um, is one way. Mediation is like we meet every Tuesday and we discuss things and our instructor she'll call us down if she needs us and if she needs us we'll just like and there's two kids two or three kids sitting there and like we'll just help them through stuff and like if they're if one kid's like bullying the other two people or the two people's bullying that one kid, we'll get them through it. Why it's important to help other people is because like if they're getting bullied or if they're like going through bad times and somebody died in their family or something like that, they might need support and they might not be thinking about like school, they might be thinking about the person that died. What I try to do in terms of helping others stand up is to, is to affirm the gift, to, try to assess the gifts of others, and then to affirm those gifts. How do I involve other people in service? At, uh, at my own parish, which is 90% Hispanic, I'm trying to look for young people who have the same passion that I do, and trying to give them positions of more responsibility. If you see somebody getting bullied, don't be a bystander, be a helper to one of them or like if you see somebody having trouble go walk up to them and say do you need help and like if they say yeah you could help them. In terms of how who Dr. King is for me and how I want to carry out or have tried in my life to carry out his mission and his dream is really uh, for me an exciting question because uh, frankly in all my life I, since my teenage years I was in high school when Dr. King was active in the early 60s, and when he died in 68, I was in college, and he made a, a tremendous impact on my life. His vision really resonated with my life. Uh, he was a man who came out of a deep faith background, as well as a family, strong family background, which I had done as well, and I, I was desiring to serve other people. And his passion for social justice, and, and, and people, I should say, really is something that I have tried to live throughout my life. Most kids, they'll think it's all about like phones and technology, but I think of it as like helping other people and like helping people when you go to the store or wherever. That's been part of what I look at when I see the world, is what needs to be changed 
and how in my corner of the world, I mean, I'm not going to be Martin Luther King with some big uh, systemic change happening or marches. I, I know I'm not going to be the guy who talks to a million people. <laughs> but um, in my corner of the world, uh, I need to be doing whatever I can to change.